Welcome to a quick video overview of the program you can see running here, which is Tractor DJ from Native Instruments. This is a two-deck DJing program for the iPhone. Uh, it's also for the iPad, but we've got the iPhone version here, which has just come out as we make this video. Uh, it's really nice. So let's show you some of the features of it. We're currently playing a track, and you can see a lovely smooth waveform moving. I can zoom in on that waveform, or out, just by touching the main waveform underneath. I can loop the part of the waveform that I like the look of just by touching it like that. I can then play that loop by freezing it and messing around with it like this. Carries on looping underneath. You can see how intuitive this is and how much fun it is. I can then, let's just get rid of that loop. Drag the loop away and the loop is gone. This is, by the way, completely touch sensitive, so I can grab the waveform should I wish to and it'll, uh, it'll respond accordingly. I can set my cue points just by hitting this little button here. So if I want to set a cue point in the middle of this nice atmospheric break, there you go. And then by pressing that again, it will get rid of the cues. There's eight cues and they're easy enough to delete as well. Up this side of the screen, there's a simple loop. So I touched the screen to loop before, but I can just hit this button here and it'll set it to a preset loop, currently set to four beats. There's also an EQ. She's got a filter on it as well. We're on filter at the moment. And there's the equalizer with our bass, mid and treble and so on. And there's some effects. There's some of the best loved effects from Tractor in here. Gator there. There's a lock on the effects, so if I like that gate, I can just lock it and leave it. Like that. And get off and do something else. So there's one deck, more or less, shown to you very quickly. Beat gridding. There's a beat grid. You can move these beat grids on the fly, but this is perfect, it's on the beat. One, two, three, four. But you can move them really easily. Not sure what I did there, so I'll click reset. I've actually messed up that beat grid, but you'll probably mess up the mix I'm gonna do in a minute. So let's try and do it on the fly. Okay, I can see what's wrong there. So we should be back on our beats now. Perfect. Beat grids are transferred via Dropbox to your tractor version on your main computer, which is great. So, by simply moving this little slider here, I can bring Deck 2 into view. You're probably wondering where Deck 2 was, and here it is. I go all the way to Deck 2 like this. It doesn't affect the audio, it's just making it easier to see everything. Here's Deck 2. And I've got a cue point set there. Let's get that one playing. It's already held in sync by Tractor. Here's both of our tracks. And the track was in key. And the reason the track was um, in key is that Tractor made it easy for me. And let me show you how. So I'm currently playing this track here. And I want to get a track on the next deck. So the way you do that is by hitting the next deck's load feature. And it'll show you the track that's currently playing on deck B. There's a little flash here showing you it's on deck B which is Paradise Circus by Massive Attack, with a few bits and pieces about that track. Uh, that track is at 126 BPM and it has um, a, a certain key. And then down here, there's choices of track, which are in similar keys or matching keys and in similar BPMs. So if I wanted to mix into, I've not tried any of these by the way, so I have no idea how they're gonna work. Let's just try the first one it recommends. If I wanna mix into that one, I just touch it and I use this slider to load it onto the other deck. So this track's now waiting for me on the top deck. Ah, just for the sake of the mix, let's have a go and see if we can get that to work uh, and sound good with this. Oh, so far so good. Uh, it's dragged it immediately onto the beat grid. You can set the quantizing and the beat grids in the configuration to where you like them, but the standards are particularly okay for, for general mixing. And hopefully this is gonna work okay while we're listening to it. Let's have a look at some of the other features. If you swipe from the bottom, 
Well, it is okay, isn't it? It's a perfect mix. Um, you swipe from the bottom, you get the main library here, so I can look through all my songs just like normal, and it's got the keys and so on on there. Before we start getting a clash, let's just get rid of that, move into the mix. Uh, and then let's swipe away from this side to see what's here. Now this is a master tempo. It's just letting me adjust the tempo to where I want it and I want to take my hand off it, it'll stay there. The, the actual key lock is really, really nice. It's really good. I was a bit worried because it doesn't seem to be a way of turning the key lock off. It's just locked. So any beat mixing you do is going to be key lock, but actually it sounds really good. It was hard to make it sound bad, even quite a long way away from the central BPM. So uh, obviously it's not going to be perfect for the audio files out there uh, who listen to it on massive systems and start pulling holes in the bit rates and artifacts. But for most of us, DJing on an iPhone, remember, remember that, it's an iPhone. Uh, brilliant, really good, well implemented. So this area here, as well as having this, this uh, Tempo, which is this little heart, there's a few other controls. There's a master output, there's a record. This is where you've got your split cue, which lets you use a, a headphone splitter cable. Uh, and it is also where you've got your cue volume and your cue mix if you are using a headphone splitter and you've got some headphones on the go as well. Another area here which I think is really nice is this part here. This will show you stuff that you haven't yet read about, if you like. So for instance, this, control, this one's telling me about recording my mix, and there's some little pictures of how to do it. There's some pictures and instructions on how to record your mix in the software. And when you've read that, and gone back to here, it disappears from this list of numbers. So it just, it's a nice way of um, knowing you've discovered all the features, if you like. And when you start, there's 15 or 16 of these features on here that are flagged. Um, I think that's just about it, you know, that's all I want to show you on a first swipe, if you pardon the pun, of the app. It's really nice, it's really well implemented, just as the iPad version is, but in a, in a, in a weird way, I think I like this one. I think I like it on the iPad mini the very best, because it's just about the right size for holding, but it's, um, it's kind of got a bigger screen and it's not quite so fiddly, you don't make mistakes quite so easily. But on the iPhone, it's just, A, it's amazing they've managed to do it, and B, it's really intuitive, it's easy to mix. One of the things that's best about it is this recommended feature, because you could just sit there really kind of like absentmindedly mixing through your tunes, uh, knowing that they're going to sound okay. Uh, and when you've got something where DJing is kind of like shrunken and compromised into something as small as this little iPhone, anything that makes it easy is going to be good. And the freeze function is just a hell of a lot of fun. Um, you know, you set a little loop, you hit freeze, It's a lot of fun, especially if you're sat on a bus or something with nothing better to do. You know, you could be listening to your iTunes or you could just power this up and be practicing your mixing. And remember the Dropbox thing. You can actually use this to do your beat gridding on the fly. Plug it all in when you get back and you are ready to go on Big Tractor. Think of this as an addition to Big Tractor, if you like, not as a replacement for it. It's just another way of manipulating and using your tunes and it's very well implemented. So there's the Tractor DJ for iPhone app. Uh, I really like it, uh, it's available now.